What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to this channel, please lightly tap the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. That right there is the easiest way to show support. Actually by dropping a like down below will show support and help me basically create more content for you guys. But in this episode, we are back and we're gonna be working on the customer A3 right over here. If you guys saw the previous episode, we got this basically B pillar skin ripped out and we revealed some damage from the inside as you guys can see right over here and this all will be actually fixed and the new skin will be on by the end of the episode but before that guys a lot of you guys have been saying some positive responses on basically the new vlog style of video I'm taking and a lot more stuff actually everything is positive I'm very 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 appreciative and I like this the fact that you guys like the change and with that I can create more content for you guys and maybe you know like I, I try to get you guys fancy cars like my RS3, you know, my GTR, M2, but in the mix I can throw in cars like this, customer cars, and just kind of more basic cars, which if you guys don't want to watch it, then you don't want to watch it, but some people enjoy it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for those people. Also, maybe in those kind of videos, you guys can teach me something or I can help you with something. For example, somebody commented and asked me, is that the best way to basically chain down a car to a frame machine? In this case here with the A3 where it doesn't need any severe, severe pulling. Um, our best bet was to just kind of chain it because we could throw it onto the clamp, but it's going to take so much time. And the A3, the little clamp, I don't know what it's called, that little thing that runs under the car. It's such a small clamp area and I don't know, this was just the best way we could do it. And a lot of people that do bodywork, framework can agree with me. But guys, before we get started on the A3 over here, what we have to do is pull off this customer or the donor car skin, the B pillar, all of this. And we got to casually, very, very carefully pull it off because we are using this piece onto that car. As you guys can see, I pulled that one off and I damaged it because I was very careless about it. Over here, we have glue down here. We have some foam. So it's actually pretty complicated to get this thing pulled off. But without a lot more jabbing, gibbeting, let's get this thing pulled off and measured up to the car. And then we can start doing our pulling on that actual car on the B pillar, the bottom hinge of the door. It's pretty buckled in there. So let's get right into it. Anyways, we are about 30% done with this piece over here, but I want to go ahead and quickly explain what I'm using because many of you guys are interested. So I am using this bit right here. It is a uh, spot rivet bit, but if I do find it, I will drop a link down below exactly what I'm using and it is extremely quick. It is so fast. I can get, I busted this whole section of rivets, uh, I mean spot welds out in about 10 minutes. What I do after that is I have a little hammer and um, this is actually a harbor or from O'Reilly's. It's a gasket scraper. Gasket scraper, yeah. So I just kind of walk the whole entire thing through as you guys saw in the video. So for example, I'll go ahead and start one right here for you guys. The spot rivets, so I don't drill them all the way out. You do want to leave a little thin layer as you can see right here. So I'll show them right here. You see how that is basically, it's already off. So I'll show you guys, it's off, but there is still a little, you see that? Higher, higher, right there, see that? 
there is still a little bit of metal left there. And the reason why you don't want to go all the way through is because when you go all the way through and this outer panel, like a piece of the spot weld is still welded onto the inner panel. When you start chiseling it off, it'll rip it. So I leave a little bit of piece like that and I don't know, it's just much more easier and much more cleaner comes off. So let's go ahead here. So let's. There you go, that one's fully off. And then once I get this whole entire thing basically de-spot welded, I will walk around with a hammer, I'll put a, a bigger hammer back here and hit this all back into its shape so it'll be all as clean as possible. And then I'll pull the skin off that way. I can basically keep the OEM structure of the skin, OEM just feel all around. Uh, that way when I measure it up to there, it's just gonna be much more, a uh, much less work and much easier for us. So let's get back to work. <laughs> Guys, so we are almost done with pulling off this used quarter skin. And one reason why I never get used quarter uh, parts is because it's just a pain in the butt to get them off without damaging them. And then this one here, especially on the arc, it's just crazy. This thing is just full of glue and I'm gonna have to definitely glaze all of this. But we got this bottom section loose. And as you guys saw in that time lapse, that I pulled the seam sealer off first because I'm gonna have to weld on top. But once the quarter panel is off and flimsy, it's gonna be really hard to get that seam sealer off. Right now, we have this little section left, and I think one more spot weld, like right over here, as you guys can tell on the old one right there. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly get this busted out and see how much damage we actually did. I'm a little bit worried about this area over here because I got this peeled back, but I did do a little bit of damage, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So let's get this thing fully pulled off. We did a little bit of damage to this panel, but the places where we did the damage is not that big of a deal. So right here, as you guys can see, I'm sweating. <laughs> that was actually really, really hard guys. So right here where we heated up with a torch, that right there, as you, can, you guys can see here, is where the glue was. So there's glue here, glue right over here, and then all along this edge over here. So we got a humongous, humongous downside though. This panel right here, was a previous repair panel. So, if you guys can see on the inside, right there, people have been digging with it, which kind of, I mean, 
sucks, but it is what it is. We couldn't really tell. Looked at it, you know, until the bondo cracked on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is actually hit all that out, make sure that's all as even as I can. Cause when I go to weld it, I'm gonna have to go ahead and mud it, everything. I'll just mud that little patch down there and make sure it's all perfect. But guys, it is getting dark on us tonight and that is gonna be it for tonight. I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning. We're gonna test fit this thing up and tomorrow I'll tell you guys the rest. Peace out. All right guys, it is the next morning here and last night you guys saw that we got this B-pillar skin ripped off the donor vehicle. But right now what we gotta do is start working on the structural part over here and get all of this stuff basically dialed out as clean as we can it's not going to be 100 percent perfect because we we're not cutting and replacing these parts but they're hidden first of all second of all and the main thing for us is to get this structural one perfect and we will get that one perfect you guys will basically nearly not tell or you guys won't even tell that it's been hit i'm gonna go ahead and prime it in make sure it's all nice and clean but by the end of this episode i want that b pillar skin and a piece of that quarter i don't know how to call this whole entire piece test fitted and both doors on so we got a ton of work and we're gonna get right back into it Yo, look at that gap, dude. Oof. Got it all lined up over here and then holding this one tight. But look at that gap. How's it look pretty even all around? It's phenomenal. 
dude that is clean and then look at that bro it's all pulled out evenly as well look at that from top to bottom but guys i think that is going to be it for this episode I know I did say that we're gonna put the B pillar in and this bottom section in, but guys, we've done a ton of work and we did all this pulling out. This video is already getting a little bit too long, but stay tuned for the next episode. We're actually gonna go ahead and put that B pillar in. And I went a little bit of different route. I was planning to repair this piece right here, but I sectioned it out and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off our donor, which is this piece right over here. So I pulled it off, repaired this bottom here and i'm going to start repairing this but i'm going to do it when all the pulling is done i'm going to go ahead and pull the wheel off pull a little bit over there make sure it looks all OEM. but guys thank you so very much for tuning in and staying to the very very end i hope you guys enjoy these little vlogs and if you guys do like this kind of content please tap that subscribe button down below if you guys do want to support the channel drop a like and if you guys do want any inside scoops or anything like that before YouTube, be sure to follow my Instagram at BYBTim. And with all that being said, you guys have a blessed rest of the day, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.